Samsung's flagships can be pricey in the extreme, but the company makes tons of good phones that don't cost an arm and a leg. The Galaxy A13 5G is yet another at just $250. It does everything you'd expect a smartphone to do, often better than you'd expect a budget smartphone to do it. If you don't want to drop extra cash on a more premium device, the A13 5G is definitely worth your consideration. The Galaxy A13 5G doesn't offer many surprises, good or bad. For $249, it's a reliable device with good performance, healthy battery life, and a decent camera. None of this is surprising given that Samsung makes a lot of these types of phones and the company is very good at that. The phone was launched exclusively by AT&T in the US. Now, you can also unlock it or buy it through T-Mobile. But that initial carrier relationship plays into perhaps the most compelling reason to look at the A13 5G right now. It's certified to use AT&T's newly enabled C-band spectrum. This is the variety of 5G that promises faster speeds than 4G and good signal range, a combination that some US 5G networks have so far lacked. The list of C-band enabled devices at the network's launch was short and dominated by expensive flagships, with the exception of the Galaxy A13 5G. More phones in various price ranges are set to join the C-band club this year, but for now, the A13 5G offers the lowest entry price if you're AT&T. That in itself isn't a good reason to buy the A13 5G, especially since AT&T's C-band launch is limited to just eight US cities and rollout will be slow but it's a point in the A13's favor if you are already considering it. It's worth noting that Samsung announced the A13's replacement, the Galaxy A14 5G, in January 2023. It comes with a longer security support policy and a lower price of $199. We will test it soon. Until then, our guide to the best phones under $500 is the best place to find our latest budget phone picks. The A13 5G's 6.5-inch screen is quite large, but its 720p resolution is too low for its size. The Galaxy A13 5G has a 6.5-inch 720p screen, a low resolution for a relatively large display. It's also an LCD panel, which is common in the sub $300 bracket and looks a bit washed out compared to the other richer OLED displays you'll find on mid-range phones like the Galaxy A52 5G. It has a refresh rate of up to 90 hertz which makes scrolling and animations look a bit smoother than the standard 60 hertz. But overall, the poor resolution and low contrast mean the screen isn't one of the A13 5G's strong points. You may need to factor in an additional $10 to $20 for a micro SD card with your purchase. The A13 5G only packs 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. That's not uncommon in the budget class and is enough to get by if you're super careful with your cloud storage options and downloads, but it's not much. You may need to factor in an additional $10 to $20 for a micro SD card with your purchase. The power button also doubles as a fingerprint reader for biometric unlocking. There's a fingerprint sensor embedded in the power button on the side of the phone, and it's very fast. So fast that I actually double checked that the phone was actually properly locked. It was. It's not as sleek as the in-display readers found on higher-end phones, but it actually feels more reliable and easier to use. Long live the side-mounted fingerprint reader, I say. Battery life is another strong point of the A13. The phone's 5,000 megaampere cell lasted a couple of days with moderate Wi-Fi usage. A heavy user would probably last a full day and then some. Design. Let's start off with the design of the phone. The Samsung Galaxy A13 5G has a plastic back with a glossy finish that gives it a premium look. The back of the phone has a minimalistic design with a camera bump that houses the quad camera setup. The phone is available in three colors, black, white, and blue. The phone measures 164.3 by 76 by 8.44 millimeters and weighs 190 grams. Display. Moving on to the display. The Samsung Galaxy A13 5G has a 6.5 inch LCD display with a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels. The display has an aspect ratio of 20 to 9, which makes it great for watching videos and browsing the web. The display is decent for a budget device, but it doesn't match up to the high-resolution displays on Samsung's flagship devices. The phone also has a water drop notch at the top of the display that houses the front-facing camera. Performance The Samsung Galaxy A13 5G 
is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G chipset, which is designed to offer high-speed 5G connectivity on a budget. The chipset is paired with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage, which is expandable up to 1TB via microSD card. In terms of performance, the phone handles day-to-day -day tasks with ease, but it struggles with more demanding apps and games. The phone also tends to heat up a bit when running more demanding apps. 5G Connectivity One of the standout features of the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G is its 5G connectivity. The phone supports both sub-6 GHz and MMA Wave 5G bands, which means you'll be able to take advantage of the high-speed connectivity offered by 5G networks. However, it's worth noting that 5G coverage is still limited in some areas, so you may not be able to take full advantage of the phone's 5G capabilities depending on where you live. Camera Moving on to the camera, the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G has a quad camera setup on the back, which consists of a 48 megapixel primary camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The primary camera has an aperture of f1.8, which means that it can capture more light and produce better images in low light conditions. The ultra wide camera has a 123 degree field of view which makes it great for capturing landscapes and group photos. The macro camera can be used for taking close-up shots of objects, while the depth sensor is used for creating bokeh effects in portrait photos. The camera performance is decent for a budget device, and the photos come out looking sharp and detailed. However, the low-light performance leaves a lot to be desired, and the camera struggles in low-light conditions. On the front, the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G has an 8-megapixel selfie camera, which is decent for taking selfies and making video calls. The front-facing camera has an aperture of f2.0, which means that it can capture more light and produce better images in low-light conditions. Battery The Samsung Galaxy A13 5G comes with a 5,000 mAh battery, which is a decent size for a budget device. The battery can easily last for a full day with moderate usage, but heavy usage may require a midday recharge. The phone supports 15 watts fast charging, which means that you can quickly charge the phone and get back to using it. However, the phone does not support wireless charging, which may be a deal breaker for some users. Security In terms of security, the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G comes with a side-mounted fingerprint scanner that is quick and accurate. The phone also supports facial recognition, which is fast but not as secure as a fingerprint scanner. Overall, the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G is a great budget device that offers 5G connectivity without breaking the bank. The phone has a decent design and display, and it performs well for day-to-day -day tasks. The camera performance is decent for a budget device, but it struggles in low-light conditions. The battery life is good, and the software is user-friendly. However, the phone does have some limitations, like the lack of wireless charging and the limited performance for demanding apps and games. If you're looking for a budget-friendly 5G device with no frills, the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G is definitely worth considering. Thank you for watching this review of the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tech reviews and videos. See you in the next one.